Hi guys, in the last video I uh, gave you that example for you to try out and isolate that example into a separate component. Well, here's how, how I would do it. First of all, let's isolate that bit. Let's do, let's isolate this, the stuff with the commas, okay? So I'm just gonna say the first separator is the, is the comma, the first comma, and where's the first comma located? So I just go here, find. Okay, what do I need? I need a comma. Okay, actually comma and space, all right? Or leave it, just let me, just let me do the comma. And which text? The text is this one. And I don't, I, I'm looking for the first comma. Okay, so the first comma is at uh, position 17. How long is my text? Well, that's easy enough. Just call the function len and click on that text. So my text is 56 characters long and my first comma is located at position 17. So what's now the first part of that text? Again, I need the left function. That text. Number of characters is the 17, now minus one to cater for that comma. So now I got, now I got the first bit, okay? And the leftover would be getting right of that text. Now, whole text, the length of the whole text minus that 17, all right? Now, if you notice, here I've got that space. That is the space after the comma. So that's okay. Now, how do I get rid of that? Well, there's a function called trim. And basically, the way it works is it's just a simple function. I'm just going to show you here. Just call it. It's again under text. And where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, no, hold on. I'm just going to have to go under text and trim. Trim removes all spaces at the beginning uh, or at the end of a certain string. So if I trim this thing here, I'm going to get rid of that space in front of the one. OK, and actually having it in a separate cell is, is, is not such a good idea. You know, it, it's, it just consumes too much space. I can ink have that thing here and the way I do it, this is my calculation. I add trim here, trim, open parentheses and close parentheses. So now it's basically, this is the calculation bit and then that bit gets trimmed. Okay, and there you go. So this way I got rid of any uh, extra spaces at the front or at the back of the whole thing. All right, now, Let's get to the next thing. Next thing, I need my postal code. Okay, now I'm gonna hit put here street. Now I need a postal code. And a postal code, again, I use find. Now I recently used find. All right. Now, what do I, what's the separator in this case? Not the comma, but the space, okay? because the, the postal code is separated from the city by a space. So I just space within text. Now, where's my text? Not this anymore, this thing here. And again, I'm looking for the first space. And there we go. Uh, sorry, I just, I need to put it up here. That's just, the second separator is there. What's that? You know, second separator is there. Now, the length of the whole text, is again, I can also do it like this, just then click that, done, 38, all right? So my postal code is then left, open up, left of what, where's my original text? There, and for how long, how long, how many characters long is that? It is this minus one, close parentheses, okay? So there's my postal code. Now, what's left over? Again, let's try this time with a wizard, right? Where's my original text? Here. How long is it? That long minus the length to the first space. Okay, so now I have, let me just, the city, big state, and nice country. So now we come to cycle three. The third cycle, so the third separator is in this case a comma 
Okay, so I need to find the comma. Okay, find comma because the comma is a separate between the city and the state. Which text? This text. And again, I'm looking for the first comma. So it's at position 10. How long is that text? Again, len this. So it's 32 long. So now uh, I need this a city. So, oops, sorry. City. Now, the city is basically left of this bit for so many characters minus one to cater for that comma. Okay, so I get green city. What's left over? Left over is basically, again, right of this stuff. And how many characters? Well, the whole length minus that. Okay, and I got that. And remember, here again, because we, we have a comma as a separator, um, I have this uh, space between, uh, you know, that space is here. That's why big state is a bit indented. So I can just trim that. And we're done. Okay. So now I've got let me just let me just do it. Let me do this stuff in blue. So we can differentiate it. That's blue. That's the first bit. And let's not let's not make it that bold. Just make that thing bold. And I'll have this red. So this is my first result. Let's have this one in green. And this thing in red and bold. This is my second result. That's the postal code. And now it's city is my third result. Let me do that in another color. Let's say purple. Okay, and that again red because it's what we require and bold. And now we come to cycle four. Cycle four is gonna give me the state. Again, where's my fourth separator? Again, it's a comma. So here I go find comma. And in which text? this text okay there we go so it's in position nine how long is that text length well length you see how fast it goes it goes really fast length is 21 okay so now state is basically left of that text for so many characters minus one cater for that comma and i got bit in my state let me just do red and what's left over? Well, left over is basically right of this, so many characters minus this. And I got nice country. A nice country, again, is because of that space, I gotta trim it. And there we go. And that's the last result I needed. So now, as you see, I, I, I isolated everything of, uh, in, on its own. Now, that street can be further isolated. If you wish to isolate the street, you can have a, um, um, a separate, uh, you know, parsing procedure where you parse the street. You know, you have the, the separate street names, first name, the street, and then the number. You can parse that as well separately, you see? You can divide everything up separately. You know, but that's basically how you would do it. Another interesting part for parsing in Excel is when you got URLs, let's say something like that. Yeah, whatever. I'll just use permis.com slash, I don't know, learn, you know. So how would you parse that? Now you wish to have, let's say the domain in a separate in a separate uh, in a separate um, cell which is basically paramix then you'd have the tld which is basically the dot com you would like to have the level one level one no, sorry level one would be in this case learn and so on you know or you could have even here 
the subdomain, the subdomain, which is basically in this case the www. So basically here again with parsing you can use you can do that you see here the separators are not spaces and commas but like slash slash or dots or here in this case one slash see that's another cool exercise you could try out so you see parsing is quite a useful exercise especially when you have stuff like urls addresses uh, names written all in one cell you can with parsing you can isolate these into multiple cells 